So you think that ladies can't manage behaviour as well as men. And that is an unconscious bias that maybe some people take in, that certain uh, demographics are able to behaviour manage better than others. And I really wanted to unpick how people might feel in this situation. So if you're a training teacher and you are five foot nothing and you know that you have really boisterous year 11 boys to teach a core subject to, that is a really valid feeling of, I feel like I've maybe a step back of them having that respect for me. And we really unpicked in this chapter and I got some really strong women to talk and explain how they dealt with their situations and how um, some of the advice that they had been given on their teacher training was super unhelpful. For example, never wear red lipstick or make sure you wear high heels. Uh, personally, I love wearing heels, but I don't feel like I can be the best teacher I can if I'm uncomfortable. And I also don't feel like I have to alleviate my height to should I elevate my height in order to make sure that pupils are listening to me. But I do believe in the psychology of making sure that I am the leader of that classroom and how I hold myself and how my tone carries. And that was some of the important things that was talked about in that chapter, about stat about your stature, about your pitch, about your tone, and about how you can build those relationships with pupils really quickly, even if you feel like you've got don't have an initial in with them. So really love that chapter. And the best thing about that chapter as well is it's not just for the ladies, because when I passed this on to some of my male counterparts to read, they were really uh, astounded by the thought processes that might go through a female's head before they teach, because sometimes they don't have from that perspective. And I believe that every SLT should actually read this chapter, just especially if you think that someone's struggling with behaviour management, there could be some physiological thoughts going through their heads that make them think that they can't do it and they can. So I love this chapter because I personally don't believe that males are stronger than females at behaviour management. If I did believe that, I definitely wouldn't have written this book. <laughs>